What's up YouTube? It's the Joker. I'm about to give a little tutorial and some hints about um, inside Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain when it comes to the mother base. Normally when people see a big set of numbers on the screen they just they get confused and they don't even want to try and figure it out so I'm going to try to put it as simple as I can step by step. Um, with all the features inside the um, the mother base menu and on your um, little PDA or whatever it's called. Basically throughout the game you're gonna run into enemy soldiers who you can capture and use um, for your benefit. Um, later on in the game there's a device you pick up inside your binoculars that lets you um, scan and see what their special abilities are, um, what they're good at, whether it's medical, um, R&D or uh, just combat like uh, this guy right here he's he's useful for translating this is one of the um, beginning of the beginning of the game missions that you're gonna have to pick this guy up so you can translate uh, whenever you capture a soldier in your CQC and try to um, interrogate them at first you're not gonna understand shit they're saying and Kaz can't even help you uh, but once you capture him and put him to some good use, everyone else that you interrogate will, um, they will have subtitles at the bottom translating what the guy is saying and give you information. And that's the guy right there. And apparently somebody sees me. So uh, right now it's just suspicious. <laughs> okay, he's up there. I'm about to show you a neat trick with this box now that you can do. What's that? Bitch. So the guy spoke Russian. And now, like I said, we don't know what Soviet Russians are saying. Now with the mother base, I'm going to show you. This is all the customizations, the fun customizations that you can do with your, uh, your emblem. Um, like right now, I'm, I'm just messing around with the letters and stuff like that. Anything can be customized with it. Um, let's see. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Basically, you just change the colors and stuff like that. The shapes. Um, I chose a square and tried to make it look like a somewhat of a diamond figure. So you can do the um, the mother base color. You can change the color of it. Um, I think I, I'm just going to click white. And later on you'll be able to see that you can walk around the mother base uh, mainly just going around messing with your soldiers that you got. There's something else that you find in the field that I'm going to show you later on in the game or in the video. This, I think this is just for multiplayer. Uh, I remember they had me create this at the beginning of the game. I thought it was just going to be like some um, some character that you use until you meet Snake or something like that, but apparently not. But like I said, I think it's just for multiplayer. There are characters that you can use other than Snake, but you have to unlock that later on in the game. And this is the device I was talking about, that uh, scope that lets you scan soldiers and see what their special abilities are. Um, GMP is how much money you have through the success of your missions. Um, do not run out because <laughs> when you run out of money, it's hard for them to deploy you into into the field like you gotta pay for fuel and all that other shit uh, it automatically comes out of your expenses um, so it's best once you already get deployed it's best to just do some side missions just so that you don't run out of gas and get stranded <laughs> on the highway of Afghanistan and get shot to hell so that would be bad these are so many the first um, categories are all the things that you are able to buy 
they made it easy for you so all this stuff I could buy right now if I wanted to because it's already been developed because of the research and development team skill level it's low but it's good enough to give me some of the stuff like things like this now that I've scooted over another uh, category these are things that are still locked the uh, research and develop development team they found I guess information on it but they just can't they don't have the uh, necessary equipment to build it so as you progress through the game you'll be able to unlock all this stuff the weapons highlighted in green are the weapons that once you buy them not only will you be able to have them but so will your soldiers on the mother base you'll see them carrying around uh, different types of guns trying to uh, protect the mother base as best as they can uh, of course you got your camouflage buddy equipment is your horse or whatever else you you'll be able to use throughout the game um, I'm guessing but I know for now it's just a horse um, this is armor for the horse to put on it so it doesn't get shot the hell as much earlier I played uh, a mission and a sandstorm came up and the funny thing was I was gonna buy that that um, that armor for the horse and I was like watch me buy the armor for the horse and something stupid happens well it did I was charging through my horse uh, I didn't even realize I was on the uh, the main road because of the sandstorm, but I charged my horse right into a truck that ran ran over the horse. I thought it was dead, so like I I fell off and turned around and shot the driver before he raised an alarm um, when he stepped out the truck to see what he hit. And then I turned around, and my horse was back up. I don't know if they spawned the horse or you know what happened, but it's a tough ass horse. That was just um, a helicopter support thing. It's supposed to boost your your uh, your team's morale. It has speakers, so I guess they play music while they're in the chopper, uh, keep their morals high, whatever it takes to get some satisfied employees. <laughs> the materials you see here, they are for um, helping the mother base when it comes to building um, platforms and healing the teams and you know all this stuff gets used and that's why it's important to collect as much as you can you know it doesn't hurt to pick it up if it's near you um, you can also if you have too much which I, I don't really think you're gonna have too much but you can trade in some of this stuff for money um, you don't get much for some of the common items you see like if I go all the way up and try to sell this it'll increase my uh, my profit if I go down my profit is less but let's just do um, I think I want to do maybe 50 just to show you so if I do 50 my GMP increases because I sold that much um, of the materials alright I'm gonna make this easy all these characters right here are under the R&D team as you see R&D highlighted from S to A B C D E and I've, I think I've seen an F before I don't know why but F is bad E is bad A and basically C and above is good and when you see an S that's just outstanding um, let's see character yeah basically all the if you leave it at default all the good characters who are actually skilled will be at the top the bad ones will be at the bottom Miller and Ocelot they just overrule most of the stuff not everything but most of it and 90% well 100% of the time they're, they're locked in a certain area or they're just sitting in the waiting room for some reason <laughs> so they basically go wherever they want. It's best to have your R&D team first. Um, get them as high as you can. Start capturing um, enemies. Get them up to C level. Then work your way to B's and then A's. And they'll start developing so much stuff for you. I remember it off of Peace Walker. Um, research and development is first. You always got to have some weapons before you start going, you know, hoorah.
so the little dots by the names are the new characters in case anyone ever just gets annoyed by it it's just new characters that came in um, people that were captured or people that volunteered it doesn't really go away even if you click on them for some reason and if I try to switch this guy you'll see the number drop from 10 to 9 meaning if I try to move him from somewhere he's already best at it'll drop to 9 for a support unit but if I keep him there it stays at 10 so you want to keep it as high as possible so I'm gonna leave him in the uh, support unit for now database encyclopedia and basically the, all the wild animals that you find or you spot will show up under here and it'll give you more information like where you found them and where their habitat is uh, it's useful to for when you're trying to capture a certain animal and you want to know where he is um, obviously you're gonna have to find them first unless uh, you get some information from your support team uh, like this sheep, I found that sheep in a little circle area. Blueprints, that's stuff that, um, blueprints can be anything from weapons, uh, how to make weapons, to equipment, stuff like that. It's important to get blueprints. The loadout, basically you want to set Snake up before you go to battle. Uh, they have they have, um, what do you want to call it? They have like loadout one, loadout two. So just in case you want to have a preset, you want to go out silent. I got all my suppressors on. My second loadout, he'll be carrying a riot shield that I got from pre-ordering the game. Um, just in case I want to go bang and all the suppressors are off. So, um, sniper rifle. Okay, so Kaz is basically explaining um, proper use of materials that you find on, in, in the battlefield. And they basically take care of that automatically, so you won't have to worry about everything. That dog I found uh, one of the missions early on. Um, he's easy to spot. He's like right there once you land. Uh, pick him up, don't kill him. I, I don't know what happens when you kill him, so don't kill him. <laughs> Just get the puppy and bring him back to mother base I suspect you discovered a real diamond in the and apparently he's gonna help you with something a little polish I say we got a true diamond dog on the dog's name is Dee Dee come on Dee Dee So yeah, you definitely want to pick up the puppy when you see it. I'm just, I tranquilized it. I didn't try to kill it. I was tranquilized and brought it back with me. As you see, I brought that um, that scope that identifies uh, enemies and what they do. You can run around the mother base, surprisingly. Uh, take a shower and wash off uh, the blood. And once you're done showering, it replenishes your physical and mental health causes less stress on the battlefield. This other area I'm going to show you. Um, it's a car. 
And this shows you all the emblems that you obtain after completing the missions uh, based on how well you did and what sort of things you do to uh, complete the mission. Like, um, let's see, Foxhound. Yeah, completing the mission with stealth is how you get the, the Foxhound. I think if you repeat the mission again, it's how you get Fox or vice versa. They got a bear. If you use a non-lethal, uh, the octopus, non-lethal to, oh no, I'm sorry, the bear was used CQC lethal to complete the mission, octopus was non-lethal. Um, Mantis is using a knife, the bee is for using a handgun to complete your missions. Uh, scorpion is the submachine guns, piranha is using shotguns. Doberman, I think that's how you pronounce it, using assault rifles, and a raven is for um, handheld and mounted machine guns to achieve your victories. Wolf, of course, is going to be the sniper rifle. I mean, that's every, what was it, from Metal Gear Solid 1 and Metal Gear Solid 4, they use those, uh, well, Metal Gear Solid 4 wasn't a sniper rifle, it was like the rail gun, which really was like a a sniper um, lightning gun or whatever you want to call it but basically yeah so you can go through all this stuff uh, under database and encyclopedia to find out what emblem you like and try to do your best to obtain it based on um, the description it tells you how to get it um, some of the stuff has question marks um, I guess you, you'll you bump into how to get the uh, the emblem or you can just look it up and kick you in the nuts and wake you up I need to talk to you come here spit it out see now that I got the translator when I uh, when I found him on the battlefield and took him to my mother base now I can see what these enemies are saying they can give me information like where these blueprints are and then I got the blueprints that's what the blueprints do so it all helps you throughout the game each soldier that you pick up they can help you in some way Of course, they all have to work together, and you have to get a bunch of them. This guy's a scientist who, uh, spoiler alert, gave Snake his prosthetic arm. So he's definitely going to be of some use. Apparently, there's a sandstorm. I've been spotted before the sandstorm happened, so I'm just going to run away. I ran so far into the sandstorm that I ended up on some rocky mountains. So I'm, I'm not spotted anymore. So that should help you out, give you a little boost and insight on what to do as far as picking up characters and how to help you out. Peace out, YouTube.